Hey guys, it's Torbex here and welcome to another episode of Replay Analysis with Torbex 5. Now today we're looking at a Geef in a matchup against the Nash. Now, if you want to get your replays analysed, you need to message me on here or on Twitter at Torbex5. Now, before we fully kick off, I just want to point out that this Geef doesn't actually throw any command grabs this round. And what this does is it creates an uncertainty about when they're going to happen. However, because he doesn't utilise them at all, later on in the game I start to realise this and throw out riskier moves. But at this point I haven't noticed, so I'm actually playing in his intended range, where his fierce punch can hit me and his normals can get to me and I can only throw booms or use my command normals such as there, and I'm in a cross-up range. Now, most Geefs want you close up, but he doesn't. So, actually, I'm playing into what he wants by staying out, when by this point I should be going in. Because as I mentioned in the first episode, he has the life lead, so I have to go to him. However, I think this is where the round starts to turn, because he's not reacting to me in the way that he should. I use that Moonsault Slash, he should have air SPD, but he doesn't. Also, you can't use your V-Trigger to punish the Moonsault like that. At least I don't think you can. So now he's wasted his V-Trigger, because... I'm backing away and I have the life lead, so he has to come to me. I may be backing into a corner, but it doesn't really matter at this stage because I'm still going for those risky plays and going in, which he's not doing. So I get the chip kill here because he decides to block my Moonsault instead of making me whiff or punishing it. So I want to look at this moment and another moment off a Moonsault Slash because I think he could have won at both times. You see, as Geef, you can use your V-Skill or a handful of normals around this distance to go under the Moonsault and then jump. So now Nash doesn't have his super and you don't have to worry about being chip killed so you can use something like a command grab to win. Or you can use the whiffed Moonsault as an opportunity to finally get the kill. Now I would say that these are the second and third best methods because an air SPD punish would actually be better in this situation. However, I do think the V-Skill method is better than using a block because the heavy Moonsault Slash is positive on block, meaning the only thing you can really do is a late V-reversal and this particular Geef doesn't have that, so for him it's an unwinnable situation. And I don't really want to punish with a normal that's not armoured because you can risk a trade and if you trade in this situation you lose. And lastly, I don't want to use a crouch and jump method because I feel like that's too telegraphed and the Nash won't use their super. Now, I think the V-Skill timing looks a bit ambiguous, so you might bait out the super more often than with a crouch. Now, another moment I want to talk about is also a Moonsault Slash, but the reason I've separated the two is because this one is pre-V-Trigger, so you can actually use your meter in this situation. Also, because he has more health, he can afford to take more risky moves than in the previous situation. And what I mean by this is there's a more specific time requirement on this combo to get the full effect or to stop it from whiffing. I do want to point out though that the Geef would win way before most of these combos finish, so think of these as a full explanation of what you would do with more health. And you could actually adapt both of these for either situation. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, please let me know what you think, thumbs it up if you like it, and subscribe for more videos. Now before I go, I just want to thank the Street Fighter subreddit for supporting me in these videos and let me know what they think. Also, I want to thank the Geef player because although he didn't ask for this replay analysis, he's actually a fun and challenging player to play against. So if he's watching this, I do just want to let him know that if he ever wants to run sets with me, so just hit me up and I'll be happy to play. Anyway, personal ramblings aside, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Okay.